hey, I don't know how this is possible. And um, we're, we're at the emergency vet clinic right now, and it's like 3.45 in the morning. Our 12-year-old Lassa Apso dog, Miko, which is like, he's my best friend and he's my wife, uh, I, my wife's dog. She loves this dog more than she loves me. She don't understand this dog got her through the toughest times even before she met me. And he's an old dog now and he's a special needs dog with a, come on baby. Anyways, I just woke up, I woke up in the middle of the night to go pee and our dog was dead, lying on the floor, no heartbeat, not breathing, eyes open, rigor mortis setting in, dead. The whole body was stiff, and uh, my wife goes, what, what, what? She woke up, I go, he's dead, he's dead, honey, he's dead. And uh, so I started giving him re resuscitation on his chest. You know how like when it's happening, something like that, your mind goes in places where it's like you feel so incredibly alert anyways i cried out to jesus you're like oh this is where he's going with this video i'm telling you i cried out to jesus and i said you are the healer me and my wife need more time with our dog <laughs> so i'm telling you he was dead he was dead I swear on everything. And I started pumping on his chest and I gave him mouth to mouth and I was blowing in his lungs. And you know how when you're in that moment that nothing else matters, you'll cry out. You have no pride. You, you're on faith. And it's like, even as I talk about this right now, this, this, this sick lack of faith and disbelief is rolling through my head like oh it could have just been a chance oh it was just this just happened by chance like how when he said ye of, ye of little faith because like you can you can witness a miracle right in front of your own damn eyes and still deny it I cried out to Jesus and I said you are the healer and I thought about the Bible and how he healed all those people I said you can give me more time with my dog and I gave him mouth to mouth and and there was a pop and his lungs popped open and I'm telling you the body was stiff he was dead and I was pushing his lungs in and out with my hands and breathing and his heart started to come back and little by little he started to breathe but it was very faint and shallow and little by little the dog started to come back to life and my wife was holding him and we thought this was our last moment so we rushed him to the emergency vet <laughs> he he went outside and he he went poop and and he's jumping around all hyper inside of the vet right now and they just tested his vitals and they're saying that he's fine and his lungs are fine and i'm like what's going on right now i feel like a, i don't even know what to think so we rushed him to the vet, of course, anyways, because this could, could be our last moments with our dog. And, um, you know, I just want another Christmas with him. The reason that I hustled so hard and we finally bought a house with a backyard is because our dog has never had a backyard his whole life to just run for free and have that freedom. And now he does. And I literally did it for my family, and I, I did it for my family, and I did it for my dog, you know. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. My faith is like... There's no way that wasn't him. This is crazy. <laughs> Let's go see Miko. Is he a good boy?
How is this happening right now? I don't know.